Hi guys, in this episode of RTHD, I want to unbox this computer that you're seeing here on the Best Buy website, a Dell Inspiron 15.67000 2 in 1 4K Ultra HD uh, touchscreen laptop by in, with, with an Intel Core i7 16GB GeForce MX250. So let's get to that unboxing very quickly. Um, this is not my laptop, this is actually uh, a laptop that I have been given to set up and so the whole point of this video is just to see what's in it and of course to make sure that it actually has a GeForce MX250 uh, as well in it. So stay tuned as we go towards the actual product and it came in a very nice box, shows you that uh, it says computer mobile etc and um, on the box itself if we look around there's actually here, this piece here that actually explains it. And because it, the box is so tall, I can't actually show the whole thing, but I'll show this part. It says the 7000 series. It does not mention, and now it actually says Intel Core i7 10510U processor. So that is actually um, a pretty decent processor. If you have a look at the um, score for that, it says uh, the pass mark is 9457. So definitely a decent enough, uh, very good for a laptop processor for sure for uh, cores two logical cores per physical so that means it has eight threads which is nice it's it, it seems it's not an eight core but it has eight threads so it looks like an eight core when you look at it on windows um so with that being said we're gonna continue back unboxing here and um it comes with windows home and i think it's because you know it's more geared towards um home users and it's and usually geared towards home users so we'll uh, see how that turns out to be all right so it's already seems to be already just opened up a little bit here nice little sticker here we're here to help this is the actual box and we flip it open and here we have some sort of uh, protection as well here so we're gonna take out that and there is the laptop inside now this also is supposed to come with a solid state drive as well so we'll get to that part but let me just get to take it out the actual stuff that's in the box so we have pretty much that as the manual and digging deeper in I'm seeing there might be oh, yeah like these two very small things are uh, one warranty information the other is just basic things to get running so you really I guess have to know how to work with it from there there's a little side compartment where there's the adapter and part the other part of the adapter and that's that's pretty much all that is in this box so we we'll just put the box aside and we'll have a look at this so well this will have to obviously open up it's just it's just a typical adapter let's see what the adapter um has in terms of output so it says it outputs at 19.5 volts 3.34 amps so well, pretty decent not uh, doesn't seem to be using any sort of strange uh, or unusual adapter per se a normal Dell adapter which is nice I'm gonna open of course this piece and we will just put back all the rest of stuff inside there and well this stuff you know we don't really need this stuff so the other part of this is just comes it's really minimal I mean just in a plastic bag which feels a little strange to be honest with you but that's how they're making these things now and um, of course it has a nice logo it's silver it it does feel quite uh, uh, quite it actually is quite heavy actually I thought it would have been lighter um, but it's heavy it feels like literal you know metal even though it might be plastic it does actually feel very heavy um, and look at this check I mean that looks interesting right kind of slightly bent but it's not bent eh? it just looks that way um, and of course very minimum stuff here with the service tag etc at the back and I don't know if this is a speaker I have no sh I mean these should be speakers I'm not too sure what this is this may just be for the heat sink etc I'm not going to actually open this up because it's not mine but the screws are you know in this laptop you can actually see that they actually have the screws so it's it should be fairly easy i mean to open at least the the, this, this, the back part of this laptop and this is supposed to be a laptop that is supposed to open up um i think they said 360. so let's see 
does it actually open? Well, it opens straight out, so it's totally flat here. Um, it's supposed to be touchscreen as well. And yeah, look, this thing actually literally opens backwards straight down to the back. I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, you could use it as a tablet, but of course, you know, I don't know if the keys will be pressed, etc., or how that will, will work out. But uh, it looks really sleek and, and, and designed really, really nice. And also comes with um, a backlit uh, keyboard as well. So, and pretty much one button. So I have no clue as yet how to, oh, how to actually put this thing on, which is what we'll have to figure out first. And let's see what ports is available. One of the things is from I'm seeing here is this screen is going to be a, a magnet for um, for you know dirty hands etc. So something to keep in mind. I think most of these touch screens now are like that. Um, it ha the, the good thing is there's no flex. Uh, the keyboard feels nice. Um, not bad. Very you know soft. It's it's soft. Um, Maybe two or three millimeters in movement, so that's nice. And it looks like this might be the power button actually. Um, so we'll press that power button in a little bit. But um, it says it has apparently Thunderbolt 3 and active pen support and power key with fingerprint reader. Okay, so that might be here power key fingerprint reader on the right. 10th gen, two ports looks like. It's not looking blue, but it hopefully it is USB 3. I can't actually tell. Um, it does oh, it does have actually have an SD card reader. Don't know if you could see that there. Um, it has a yeah, this would be the USB 3 port definitely for sure. Or it could be as I said, Thunderbolt 3. Yeah, that's Thunderbolt 3, and then it's a full size HDMI and of course um, the adapter. So I'm gonna plug this thing in and we'll see how long it probably takes to boot and set up because it's going to take a while to set up but i'm going to reinstall everything anyways because um this is going to have windows 10 pro on it so when we start back up um, i guess it might make sense for me to actually boot this thing up but uh we'll see how it goes from there 